One of the greatest trilogies on the Nintendo Entertainment System has to be the Ninja Gaiden franchise. Did you know there's an Atari 2600 version of the game? There is? <laughs> no. What's wrong with you? I played Fortnite once and this is what happened. This video is from the Retro Liberty Archives with new edits and live shots. And now let's get into the overlooked version of Ninja Gaiden, the Sega Master System version. Ninja Gaiden on the Sega Master System was released in 1992 in Europe and Brazil, about four years after Ninja Gaiden on the NES in the United States of America. Now, like I just said, this version is a European and Brazilian exclusive only. Then how are you playing it? On my illegally hacked Wii, of course. Oh. So when you fire this game up, the intro scene starts playing right away and begins with Ninja Master Ryu, or Ryu, whatever you want to say it, of the House of the Dragon, heading to his home at the Dragon Village only to find everyone dead. He is then told to defeat the Bushido, a scroll of great ninja power. Ryu, yes, I'm gonna go with Ryu, then warns us that he will get the scroll back and avenge his village's death. Well, then the game begins and... This is for the Sega Master System? Okay, now I knew this system was and is capable of great graphics, but this looks better than I could have imagined for an 8-bit system. This looks beautiful. Now the animation on the characters and on Ryu himself are brilliant. Now although I love the graphics on the NES version of this game, I would definitely say the graphics go to the Sega Master System here. Another thing you're gonna notice right away is the music. It kicks right in and it's super fast paced and it's just great. I personally like the NES music better and that may be just because of nostalgia, but there is no denying this music is simply wonderful. Gaiden features very similar gameplay to that of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Attacks and jumps are performed in the same manner as special ninja attacks of various nature can be performed by pressing up and attack simultaneously. I love the ability of being able to hang onto trees or any object you can grapple onto above you. I have always been a fan of this on any type of side scroller. Before I move on, let me tell you that this game feels fast, almost like a hack and slash. There is no slowdown and Ryu is controlled near perfectly in this game. This is hand Hands down, one of the best controlled games I have ever played. I'm not kidding. Now the difficulty here is, well, let's be honest, it's a Ninja Gaiden game, so as expected, it's extremely challenging. But I can't honestly say if I would consider it harder than the NES port or not. They're both pretty darn hard. Now, most any retro gamer is gonna agree with me on this next part, but difficulty does not hinder my enjoyment in any way, as there really is something special about an 8-bit or 16-bit brutal game. Oh, come on! Oh gosh! Why? I really gotta stop playing these Barbie games. So how far did I get in this game? Well, if I'm honest, you guys know I'm an avid retro gamer and I beat it in about two hours. And then I just lied to you guys because I probably got to level three. I didn't really have much time. I feel like I could have gotten further, but I did not get enough time to do it. But from as far as I got, it seemed like every level I gazed my eyes upon was better laid out than the last. And with that said, I did go online and look at the rest of the game on some gameplays and it looked great. And it seemed like all the platforms and graphics, especially as far as I got, they never let me down at all in any way. I simply cannot explain to you how great this game is. Ninja Gaiden on the Sega Master System is so bad to the bone on every level. 
I honestly can't stop talking to people about it. Everybody I've been seeing lately that I know is a retro gamer, I kind of won't shut my mouth about this game. Then again, I never really shut my mouth. So if you're in the United States of America like I am and you don't own Ninja Gaiden on the Sega Master System yet, well, you know it's pretty much impossible to play this on a real cartridge. If you are as cheap as I am, this game is worthy of emulation if you gotta do it. Just don't let your friends catch you doing it. Oh God. Ricky, done. It's not what it looks like, Ricky, please. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. 